All right, welcome everybody. So this is uh, lesson 1.2, order of operations. There are two pages on this note. So this is video one, and then you'll see video two in a little bit. A couple things, we are gonna be covering vocabulary again. Um, you guys have learned order of operations over the many, many years. A problem that I've seen throughout the years of eighth graders coming into high school is that you guys are still struggling with making sure that you do the things in the correct order. Okay, so um, one of the first things on the notes, there is a sentence that says, to blank, an expression means to find its value. Well, the answer to that is evaluate. So make sure at the top of your notes, you type in or you write in the word evaluate, and then we go from there. All right, so let's talk about this. So we're gonna evaluate these following expressions right here. And so what this means is we're just gonna solve it, right? So it's simple enough. Now, one of the things is, is that some of you guys may need a calculator for this. Some of you may not, but just make sure you understand exactly what this means, okay? So what this all means is pretty simple, right? That this is three times three, five times. That's what three to the power of five is. Now what you can do is you can you guys can simplify this out, right? So this would be three times three is nine, and then three times three again is nine, and then times three, right? And then you know this would be nine times three is 27, and then it would be 27 times nine. That's the kind of setup that you do. And then when you multiply that out, you could do a long multiplication if you want. You guys are used to this. This would be a three. Um, this would be a six. And so that'd be 18 plus six is 24, right? So there's my answer, right? So that's evaluating. That's what we're doing, okay? Two to the power of four means there's one, two, three, four here, right? So you would multiply those out. So two times two is four, and then it'd be times, two times two again is four, and we know four times four is 16, right? Simple enough, you guys do the next two on your own. All right, make sure you pause the video during this segment. If you've never watched my videos before, which most of you may not have, um, that's how I usually do it, is I have you guys pause the video and then do the work on your own and then use my work to double check, okay? You're not gonna learn anything, if you physically don't do the work yourself, uh, that's proven. All right, so six, uh, four times four would be 16. And then if you multiply that by four, you'd end up with four and uh, two, which would be 64. All right, so there's my answer there. And then the last one over here, make sure I don't write into my face. This would be seven, three times, right? So this would be 49, seven times seven. And then you can multiply that out using your table. That would be, uh, three and then that's nine times seven is a 63 i believe um and then hold on make sure that i got that right 54 yep okay good 63 all right so that would be 28 plus three would be or plus six would be 34 all right so there's your answer there right so it's simple enough so what i want to make sure you guys do now is on your notes you have a little sentence it says the rule that lets you know which operation to perform first when facing multiple expressions is called order of operations. Okay, so make sure on your notes you type in order or you write in order, and then you'll have to go to the second line of operations, right? You guys have learned this as PEMDAS maybe over the years. So what you have to do is you evaluate expressions inside grouping symbols, also known as, oh boy, if I can spell these out, paren, I may spell this wrong, parentheses, right? So Focus on the parentheses first. You focus on what's in there. Secondly, you evaluate all powers. We talked about that later. Okay, so this is also known as the exponents. Okay, then the next thing you would do is you multiply and or divide, but it's very important that you guys multi or divide, right? But make sure it's going which way? Left to right, okay? So notice here, left to right, and then the same thing with adding or subtract. So you add or subtract. And it's all going from left to right, and that's how you finish it. And hence the word when you guys do PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, PEMDAS, okay? Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add or subtract. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna focus on those things, okay? So we're gonna walk through these three examples together and then you guys are gonna do three on your own. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is see if there's any parentheses. There isn't here, but there is exponents. 
So you have to change this. 2 to the power of 2 would be 2 times 2 is 4, right? So drop everything straight down. You don't change anything. Keep the symbols the same. You just change the number, right? Okay, next step is multiplication or division. If you're going left to right, you do see a division here. So make sure that you change that division. So it's 8 divided by 4 is 2. And there's a negative, and there's a plus, and that's a 14. We're still dropping that down. And there's a 16, right? And now this is where you can put everything together. So 16 minus 2 is 14. Plus 14, you guys would know as 28, right? Simple order of operations. But if you don't do it in the right order, you will get a completely different wrong answer. If I go, if I were to start and go 16 minus 8, okay, I would get 2. And then I would go 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. 1 half plus 14 is actually not solvable, but it would be 14 and a half. Is that what we got? No, not even close. Okay, so please make sure you guys do these in the right order, right? So no parentheses this time, no exponents, but we do see multiplication and division from left to right. So this would be 20 divided by 4 is 5. And then you would just drop down the plus sign, 9. Okay, another plus sign. And now we have 2 times 9, which is 18, right? Now we add all this all up. So this is going to be, the best way to do this would be 9, that'd be 27, plus 5 is 32. All right, next, certainly not least, parentheses no, exponents yes. 8 squared is 8 times 8, right? So that would be the same as saying 8 times 8, which is 64. So this would be 12 plus divided by 4. So here's where you, once again, if you don't follow PEMDAS, you will get this wrong. Okay, so the next piece is going to be 64 divided by 4. Now, if you don't know what these are, get a calculator. Um, I will preface at the beginning of this year, this year getting a graphing calculator of some sort, just so that as we move on, you guys can do it at home and go from there, right? So 12 plus and then 64 divided by 4, if I put it in a calculator, is 16, and then it comes out to be 28. All right, what I want you guys to do is use a calculator that will help you with some of the larger numbers, but solve these three on your own. Pause the video and go. All right, these three are relatively simple. Just make sure you keep the order correctly. Multiply first, right? So that would be uh, 84, and then it's going to be 3 plus minus 5, and then your setup is going to be adding these together, 87 minus 5, which is 82. All right, the other one here is going to be 20 minus 5. We do the exponents first, right? So this is going to be 64 again. So it's going to be 20 minus 5 plus 64 minus 7. Now, um, you could skip a step if you want. Um, instead of doing minus 7, it could be minus, and then this would be 7 times 11, which would be 77. All right, I'm, I'm skipping a step because technically speaking, well, let me not do that because some of you will mess that up. All right, so there's the next step. Now you're going to do focus on multiplication, right? So you would rewrite this whole front piece because that's just adding and subtracting. Now it's minus 77. Now, one thing I want to make sure you guys understand is technically um, this is saying, and I'll bring it back in a second. This is saying, um, when you're looking at this, whoops, it's actually saying this phrase right here. What is negative 7 times 77? Or what is negative 7 times 11? Well, it is actually what? Negative 77. So make sure that you guys go through and you understand kind of what this is asking. Okay, so and we'll talk more about that as we go through. Um, now you add these together, right? So this is a positive 20 minus 5 is 15. Okay, and then this is going to be... Uh, plus 64 minus 77. If I add these up, that is a 7 and a 9. So that's 70 minus, which comes up to be 2. A lot of work, kind of, just to get to the number 2. All right, the next thing here is now negative 10 minus 20 divided by 5. Now, one thing I want to make sure you guys understand is kind of what we were talking about. That technically, this goes together. So that's a negative 10, and technically this goes together, that is a negative 20. So what is negative 20 divided by 5? Here, this is actually going to be a negative 4, right? So make sure you guys know this is the very beginning of kind of the negative exponent aspect, where you need to visualize this piece being separate, right? And then you would have negative 10 here, 
and you'd end up with negative 14, and that's your answer. Uh, one other thing is making sure that you guys uh, do the simple steps in the process correctly. All right, so the next one is grouping expressions by grouping by symbols, okay? When one or more grouping symbols are used, you have to go inside first, okay? And then you use the bigger brackets in the outside, and then finally you would use the exponent on the outside. All right, so simple enough. So we'll start on the very inside. We don't start with this bracket. We start the one on the inside, okay? So this would be six, and then it's a square bracket of 24 minus, and now you would solve this. One plus five, one plus four is five, and it's squared, okay? So you still wanna, now we're still gonna solve everything within the parentheses. So we're still solving within the parentheses. And within the parentheses, now you have to do a separate little PEMDAS, okay? So now within the parentheses, you gotta do exponents next. So this would be six, and then you still have your bracket, 24. Now you do the exponent here of 25, and then you have your setup, right? So this would be six times a negative one, which would end up being negative six, okay? Make sure you guys do these in the correct order. All right, so this one's the same thing. You focus on the inside parentheses first. So 15 minus 12, all right, would be uh, a bracket here and it'd be 33 and it's plus, now this, answer this out as three and then it's times five in your bracket divided by eight. Now you focus only inside the bracket still. So we do multiplication, division, adding, subtracting first, right? So this would be a bracket still of 33 plus, that doesn't change. Now you solve this, 15, and then it's divided by eight, right? So the last thing you do is still solve within the parentheses before you move forward. So this is gonna be 48, and it's divided by eight, and now you can finally get your answer of six. And then the last, but certainly not least, same setup. I have to solve within the parentheses first, right? So solve within first before you even, at this point, do exponents. So four plus five would be nine, and then it's squared divided by, and then it's gonna be three, and it's gonna be uh, your, I'll put the little bracket here just so you guys know, seven minus four is three, like that, okay? And this equals out to be nine squared, it'd be nine times nine, which is 81, divided by three times three, which is nine, which comes out to be nine. So what I want you guys to do now is if you're done with this first page and making these notes, go ahead and flip over to page two and start evaluating the next three on your own. And what I'll do is, once you guys get here, this will actually be the beginning of video two.